hello everyone you're welcome back to this tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching us or talking about all the kind of ink and chemicals that we use for screen printing you know i've had so many questions on the kind of inks or uh, chemicals that we use for our screen printing especially the emotion aspect so someone will tell me is it the uh, painting emotion as in for house painting is not to uh, a particular chemical somebody used and make his mesh black instead of after coating your mesh to be blue or green like so i'm going to be shedding more light on all those things and also the kind of ink that you have you want you can use for fabric and what they are actually used for so it is the first time of coming across this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload new videos please like share and comment thank you so much so let's get started but before i go to the ink and chemicals that are used for screen printing let me make some emphasis on our mesh as well now uh, i've said it before in one of my first video introductory aspect of screen printing but i think i want i should make or uh, put or uh, lay some emphasis on it let me just buttress on what i said that time we have two types of mesh we have the open mesh and we have the closed mesh the open mesh is what you use for fabric printing you want to print on your t-shirt and your hoodie any form of fabric you use your open mesh for that and the open mesh you can have them in different sizes too it's a smaller size if you are dealing with it, just a small artwork you don't have to use your big mesh to do that that's about open mesh now for closed mesh but i have a work on this i have not printed for nylon for close for fine mesh also known as closed mesh is for nylon nylon why do we use fine mesh for nylon Nylon does not absorb too much of ink so it has if we have to use a particular mesh that is so that has a tiny o so one difference between the open mesh and the fine mesh is that fine mesh has a very a tiny hole compared to open mesh so the ink will not spill out too much so use your fine mesh for nylon for plastic or for paint for mug and so on and so forth and some other things like that your uh, use your fine mesh for it so get it clear that you have different mesh for different projects it now depends on it totally depends on what you are working for or what you have what you want to do that is that about the mesh now let's go to the chemicals now i've said things about this also but i think having a video on it now will make it better now we have two types of ink that we use for fabric we have the plastic salt and we have the water base now what is plastic salt plastic salt simply means plastic base it's made from plastic and we can have it in different colors like i have here i have the red i have the red i have the white i have all the black i have the green i have the green i have the yellow and i have the royal blue you don't have to have all the colors if there's no if there's no need for you to use them as a matter of fact there are some colors that i cannot even get on the market you can you can mix two or more colors together take for instance this particular one as a matter of fact i i did a particular job recently where i needed to use pink color i, I don't get i can't get pink from you i don't even have to buy why because i have red and i have white so i have to mix red with white to get my pink and i got the job done so there are some colors that you might not be able to get that you have to mix one or two colors together to get by yourself now what is particular about this plastic soil is that after using it to print on your fabric you have to press it that is pressing is called curing now you it press it to cure it properly to make it that is when it can be solidified don't forget it is from plastic and when you do not introduce the heat it will not be solidified if it's not well cured the the printing can wash off anytime can start cracking and will not last now let me show you something that happened recently this this is one of the t-shirt printing i did for one of our trainings see the day i did the training for them just for the sake of the tutorial though i didn't press and plus it so there was no light though and i promised to do it press it later you can see what happened after three days it did not dry and it started spreading it is spreading 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 and it mess everything up so on the third day i just thought let me just spread to stop all these things spreading that's why i, I press it and it stopped but if you leave your plastic saw 
you did not press it this is what you get as good as this printing is the whole thing eventually got messed up so that is one thing about plastic so you don't print your plastic so and leave it in fact you don't put it under the sun the sun has nothing to do you have to subject it to it to eat it up either with your heat press machine or your pressing iron to solidify it so that is that about plastic so the first thing I'm, the first one i'm talking about on the fabricing and the second one is ceritex ceritex uh also means water based water based in the sense that it is it is mixed with what uh it is made of water not like plastic salt that is made of plastic the good thing about this water base is that you don't have to express it because of water is made of water so water will dry up easily after printing just leave it it gets dry easily so you think you don't have, you don't have uh, access to electricity or you just feel like you want to do something like you don't have to press it get a water based ink it's also a fabric ink so get a water based ink you use it to do your printing and when you're done with printing it will automatically get dried by itself without subjecting it to any heat that's why it's called water based you know water easily gets dried by itself so that is that about fabric ink number two i was talking about here is the nylon ink nylon ink that's what it's called. You want to buy your in, in, in to print on your nylon, whether your uh, packing nylon or something like this. Now, you can have a smaller size, you know, because you will do it bigger. So, you get your nylon ink. Yeah, I can have it in different colors as well. I think I have brown inside too. So you can have it in different colors. This is royal blue. So, it's simply known as nylon ink and used to print on nylon. Either for packaging, for product or whatever nylon so that is that about nylon ink another one i'll be talking about is a uh, poly speed so poly speed is what we use for printing on plastic can use it for paint for all the souvenir bottles water bottles and the likes i think we can use it on leather too that's what you use your poly speed for so please Whenever you want to do a particular project, find out the suitable ink that you will need for the project so that you're not making mistake. And along the line, you're already wasting your money because if you buy a particular a wrong chemical for a particular project, it's already a waste. So that's I've tried. To, uh, I've been able to emphasize on all this ink now that we need for different type of job. That is even the regular ones that we use here. So this police speed for your, I think for mug to use your police speed. Yes, for mug, mug, uh, plastic. Uh, leather, the souvenir bags, um, or uh, pen, and so on and so forth. So please get it right. And above all, this should not be left out. This is the uh, one of the most important things you need in screen printing: the emulsion and your dichromate. Without these two, all others cannot come to place. Why? Because these are the, this is the one are the ones you need to coat your mesh. You coat your mesh before you think of printing through it with all this ink so please get this right i've not said i didn't say you should go and buy a motion for house painting when you get to where they sell screen printing material every one of them understand why you mentioned those chemicals today you don't go to where they sell ink for for printing house you go and tell them you want to buy them they will sell their own emotion to you so the emotion we use for screen printing is actually gotten from where they sell printing screen printing materials we have them all around so that is the emotion there's another ink somebody use i can't remember very well but please this is uh, our own emotion. We actually open it and show you how it looks like so that you will get it right some other time. That is it. So these are the two that you need to mix together. I've explained this on my previous videos. So please get it right. These are the two that the two you need, the two chemicals you need to coat your mesh, like what you to prepare before you bring in other. Uh, chemical so please get it right if you miss it from this uh the foundation which is this one you definitely might not be getting the uh, good result that you need to get so, all right i think by now i've been able to do justice to all the chemicals that we need in screen printing and but i think everybody should be able to understand when and how all these things should come into place whenever you want to then change the screen printing so if you have watched this video up to this point can you like share and comment and if you already subscribe to our youtube channel please subscribe and also on notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload new videos thank you so much 
love you see you in the next tutorial